Okay, so we're going to talk about the movements in Kyudo, or as we call them in Kyudo, the Hassetsu. So there are about eight movements, but inside those eight movements, there are other several, several other small ones that I'll introduce to you as well. So as I'm doing my shooting, I'll do my best to explain what the Hassetsu, the Kata, are for Kyudo. First of all, we do a small bow, which is called the U. And the first kata, the first hasezu is ashibumi. And ashi is legs in Japanese and fumu. So we're making the stance for shooting. So this is very, very important. And even after five years, I'm still working on fixing my ashibumi. So the stance is very important and we must be very firm into the ground. Because when we shoot, if we are wobbling, the arrow will change direction very easily. Ashibumi. Okay, and we turn our string and we put our arrows on the string. So, this is called Yatsugai. So we're going to put our arrows on the string. There's one arrow. And we're going to shoot one after the other. So this is the second arrow goes on the bottom. And we put it on our knee down here. Should be in the should be a little bit wider. And we rest one time. And then take the second arrow with our little finger and that finger there and we're going to check our eyes will go up and across the arrow over to the mato and then they're going to come back down the arrow shaft and back to here this is called sudo shirabe no shirabe so checking the string and checking the shaft then I'm going to put my kudo glove onto the string. And when I was a beginner, this part was so difficult for me. Because if you use too much force, the arrow will fall off the string. Torikake. We call it torikake. And then the bow hand, we're going to make our tenoji. And if you are a martial arts practitioner, Maybe you have heard of tenouchi before and you know how important tenouchi is. So in Kudo as well, it takes a very long time to get your tenouchi very good. So at the moment, I'm still learning tenouchi. We put our eyes over to the target and we're going to raise our arms above our head. And this kata, this hasetsu is called uchiokoshi. So as you can see, the bow is up quite high and that's just, it should be about 45 degrees. Your arms should be at about a 45 degree angle, but at the moment I'm trying to fix several things in my shooting, so it's a little bit higher. So you stay looking at the target and your right arm bends and your left arm pushes. And this is Daisa. And then Hikiwake. We are pulling apart. So this is Kai. And Hanare. When we let go of the string. And this position that we take with our arms out. There's also another kata, so this is called zanshi. This is the remaining spirit or the remaining form. After we have taken zanshi, we do yudaoshi, which is bringing our bow down. And we put our eyes back to the ground 
and we will shoot our next arrow. The reason I came to Japan was to work. I came to teach English initially. But the first time I ever came to Japan was during university. I was invited by my friend whose father is Japanese and whose mother is a New Zealand. So we came together and I loved it so much that every year during the university vacation time, I would come back. So about five times I came to Japan before I decided I want to live and work here. Uh, my father used to work as a ship's engineer and occasionally before I was born his ship would come to Yokohama port. So one day my mother was also on board of the ship that my, my father was working on. They stopped in Yokohama, so my mother came out of the ship and she went exploring in Yokohama's main street. And at the time, she bought tabi. So tabi are kind of Japanese socks. They have the big toe separated from the rest of the toes. So she brought these back to New Zealand and when I was very small, she showed them to me. And she said, they're from Japan. These are tabi, Japanese socks. So this was the first time I had ever heard about Japan, actually. <laughs>